Welcome to this presentation of hybrid IGBT power switches presented by Rome Semiconductor. My name is Brandon Becker, and I'm a marketing manager of industrial product lines and business development in the continental U.S. I am so excited to introduce our hybrid IGBT technology today, as it has a unique position in the power switching technology family. It truly provides the best balance of cost and performance from any device on the market. The agenda for today will be as follows. There are six main topics. First, what is a semiconductor switch? Second, what is an IGBT? Third, an overview of Rome's IBGT technology. Fourth, applications for hybrid IGBTs. Fifth, we will review test data and results. And finally, we will review Rome's hybrid IGBT product line. As a semiconductor design and manufacturer, we are in search for creating the ideal switch. A switch is turned on and off, similar to a light switch. Since semiconductors use current and voltage to turn the switch on and off, we want to make these switches as efficient as possible. So what's required for an ideal switch? Well, it has to be a three terminal device. We want no losses by the control signal. We want it to conduct current indefinitely while in one direction. We do not want to conduct at all in the other direction. And we want to immediately switch from conduction to blocking and back. There are many types of semiconductor controlled switches, such as bipolar transistors, thigh resistors, GTO, IGCTs, silicon and silicon carbide MOSFETs, IGBTs, GAN hemp's, and more. An IGBT is an insulated gate bipolar transistor, IGBT. The key characteristics about IGBTs is that they are a bipolar device. This means that they can amplify current and also switch DC signals. And it is, of course, a three terminal device. In this case, IGBTs have a collector, gate, and emitter. Some advantages of IGBTs include that it has a high gate impedance, which means the gate driver has very low power consumption. It has a low voltage drop at high currents, has high blocking voltage capabilities, up to 6.5 kV, and has fast switching, although less than a MOSFET. Things to consider when using IGBTs is that they have a minimum collector emitter voltage drop that is present even at low currents. And IGBTs don't have parasitic diodes, so external diodes need to be added to operate efficiently. IGBTs need freewheeling diodes. These have historically been silicon FRDs, as shown in the figure on the right. New hybrid IGBTs that Rome Semiconductor has released incorporated sick Shockey Barrier Diodes, SBDs. This provides an astonishing 67% better switching efficiency when compared to an IGBT with silicon, and it provides a 24% better switching efficiency when compared to a MOSFET and its parasitic diode. There are two main components of an IGBT that design teams focus on. First is the IGBT device itself. Currently, Rome is using LPT, light punch through, with field stop technology. IGBTs are great for high voltage applications, 600 volts and up, as they are very robust with a wide SOA, or safe operating area. The drawback of IGBTs is that during turnoff, the collector current is tailing due to the minority carrier causing larger losses. The second area of design focus is the FRD, or Fast Recovery Diode. When paired with the IGBT, Fast Recovery Diodes have a shorter reverse recovery time, or TRR, than typical diodes, and thus exhibit faster switching time and lower loss. 
Even more advanced is pairing a silicon carbide SBD, shocky barrier diode, to improve switching losses even further and enable the best system efficiency at a very low cost. Rome Semiconductor has a large variety of IGBTs to meet the demands of many industrial verticals. Depending on the switching frequency and the short circuit with sand time, SCWT for short, this table can guide you to the correct family of IGBTs. Today, I want to bring to your attention the hybrid RGW series, which is our new released products. It combines the latest IGBT technology paired with our industry-leading silicon carbide shocky barrier diode. By utilizing SICK SBDs as freewheeling diodes, hybrid IGBTs significantly reduce switching losses by up to 67% compared to conventional IGBTs and 24% compared to superjunction MOSFETs, as shown in the graph. Additionally, hybrid IGBTs realize lower forward voltage drop, VF, regardless of junction temperature range, leading to better system efficiency. Hybrid IGBTs are well suited for these applications since they meet key requirements such as low switching losses, low VCE, high power conversion efficiency, and low costs. Offering more than 97% efficiency, these solutions ensure a wide operating frequency range when used in automotive chargers. With a 3% higher efficiency level than conventional IGBTs at 100 kHz, they contribute to lower power consumption and cost effectiveness in these automotive and industrial applications. The data shows that conventional IGBTs with silicon diodes have the least power conversion efficiency of 94% at 100 kHz. Although standard superjunctions and hybrid IGBTs have comparable efficiencies, newer hybrid IGBTs with silicon carbide display superior quality over superjunction MOSFETs as they maintain stability even at higher operating frequencies. Using a SICK SBD for the freewheeling diode paired with the IGBT can greatly improve the performance of the IGBTs by reducing switching losses. The graph on the right shows the desirable effects of SICK SBDs integrated with the IGBTs. As shown, hybrid IGBTs reduce reverse recovery time by up to 60% in power devices when compared to traditional IGBTs with silicon diodes. Hybrid IGBTs offer several benefits in electronic applications. Comparing them with existing IGBTs, there are significant improvements in many important aspects of the device. These include EON and EREC reduction, VCE SAT reduction, VPEAK reduction, and overall better system efficiency. Incorporating six shocky barrier diodes in IGBTs significantly reduce energy losses during turn-on and reverse recovery loss up to 50%. The conventional Rome Silicon FRD IGBT features an eon of 1.1 millijoules, while the SICK SBD IGBT features 0.57 millijoules eon. A switch to shocky barrier diode IGBTs will limit energy loss during switching as well as support high current, high voltage applications. Overshoot of Rome's hybrid IGBTs is designed to limit the peaks, which in effect cause a significantly lower V peak value. When testing other vendors' hybrid IGBTs, we measured a V peak of 519 volts, while Rome's hybrid IGBTs feature a low V peak of 478 volts. This is due to the technology for both the IGBT and the SICK SBD, which Rome has industry leading technology for both. It is also important to note that you can use a variety of external gate resistors when using Rome's hybrid IGBTs, whereas other vendors devices might not have that same flexibility.
Another key area that Rome's hybrid IGBTs were developed for is significant reduction of the collector emitter voltage, VCE, in power systems. At a collector current of 60 amps and temperature of 175 degrees Celsius, VCE sat is equal to 1.85 for our RGW00TS65C hybrid IGBT, which is 0.05 less than competitors' hybrid IGBT solutions. Furthermore, at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, Rome's hybrid IGBT features a VCE of 1.5, which is 0.15 volts less than the competitors' hybrid IGBTs. Rome's thinner wafer technology and field stop results in optimal trade-off between VCE sat and switching loss, beneficial for overall loss reduction, higher efficiency, and lower device temperature. Putting it all together, we can run simulations of various circuits. We are going to simulate a totem pole PFC switching topology and look at the efficiency of the fast switching leg for each device. We measured four different solutions. First, IGBT plus silicon FRD. This got the worst efficiency result. Second is the superjunction MOSFETs. These got the second worst efficiencies. Third was the IGBT with the silicon carbide SBDs. This got the second best efficiency behind the fourth solution we measured, which was the SICK MOSFET. We can take it a step further and find where in the device the losses are coming from. Using a SICK diode as the freewheeling diode to the IGBT, the switching loss reduction is gigantic. This allows the total loss to be very similar to the SICK MOSFET, achieving just under 98% total efficiency. To wrap up this presentation, I'd like to share with you Rome's hybrid IGBT product lineup. We have released three devices so far, each with different current ratings depending on how much power your application needs. We are proud that these devices maintain the highest level of quality, which is AECQ 101, Automotive Grade Qualified. The hybrid IGBT is really a great solution to many applications in power electronics, and it has a price point that is less than SICK MOSFETs. It is really the best balance of price and performance. I want to thank you very much for your time. If you are interested to learn more, please visit our website at roam.com backslash products backslash IGBT. In addition, you can also find information on other switching technologies, such as the silicon MOSFETs and silicon carbide MOSFETs and diodes.